uh, modern programming systems uh, really derive the majority of their uh, power from the libraries that come with them. Uh, as such, uh, M is really a pretty minimal language, or about as minimal as I can make it. But the libraries are based on the same libraries that are available in C and C++, which makes M a pretty powerful system, even though the language is simple. Uh, there's a command called M uh, colon colon interfaces that will uh, return a string array uh, with all the interface names that are supported by a particular version of M. And there's another method called uh, m colon colon members where you can give an interface name and it will list all of the uh, member uh, elements for that particular interface. Uh, some interfaces like OpenGL uh, have only methods in the interface. Others like colors uh, only have constants and some like math have both methods and constants. For example, math has a square root function and it has the constants pi and e. Following slides uh, list uh, some example members of uh, different uh, interfaces in M. Uh, the most important one that we'll be looking at uh, in lesson 8 is GLUT, which is the OpenGL utilities interface and it has methods in it for um, positioning a window, creating a window, setting window titles, and responding to window events, which is going to be uh, one of the main uh, topics of uh, this lesson. Uh, OpenGL is a very primitive uh, interface that would be quite difficult to use without GLUT, and luckily uh, the GLUT interface library has been ported to Windows and Unix as well as Mac OS. The example uh, lists the GLUT uh, method to set a, a window size, 640 uh, wide, 480 high, and uh, also to um, create the window uh, before you continue, be sure and download the uh, Lesson 8 software at bcook.cs.georgiasouthern.edu. Humans depend on sound and sight to uh, govern their uh, response and interaction to their environment. Uh, even silent movies had piano players uh, in the audience that would uh, uh, set the mood of what was going on in the film. Um, one of the uh, GLUT methods that uh, we'll be adding to game two is the GLUT play sound method which takes a sound file and an option that allows you to either play the sound asynchronously which means the game continues or synchronously which means that the game waits. Uh, it's already been added so give it a try. In the remainder of the lesson, we're going to talk about Windows programming or reactive programming. And Windows programming is based on an event or a message loop. So uh, basically what this means is that uh, the program uh, asks, is there a message? If not, it waits. Uh, when it receives a message, it executes a, uh, in M, it executes a strip of code. Uh, which is a string, and then it goes back and waits again. Uh, GLUT events, uh, GLUT is uh, the library that handles events uh, for OpenGL. Uh, each event is encoded as a message uh, to the program, which is going to be a array. Um, and the GLUT messages or events are triggered by updating or redrawing a window minimizing or maximizing a window, reshaping a window, uh, pressing a key, uh, moving, uh, pressing the arrow keys, uh, pressing a mouse button. Uh, you may not be aware that uh, mouses were originally designed with uh, three buttons and uh, that actually is maintained. 
uh, even on a Mac where there's only one button, uh, you can use keystrokes to get three. Uh, the other uh, events are, uh, in addition to the, to the mouse press, mouse motion, uh, there's an idle event, which means that the program has called the uh, uh, event manager to see if there's an event, and there isn't, uh, and so it will gen actually generate an idle event at that point. And then there's also an event for an alarm clock or uh, a timer, as it would be called. Okay, uh, now crank up your uh, Lesson 8 software and type uh, dot event space hyphen. Uh, this is a program that prints the uh, value or the encoded message uh, from every event that is uh, supported by uh, GLUT. And uh, you can examine the output to um, see what uh, values are being created for each of the different events like a keystroke or uh, a mouse motion, things like that. Uh, the system knows uh, what events it generates, but what it doesn't know is what your program wants to do with them. So the way this works uh, is that your program has to actually pass uh, an argument uh, to the system uh, that is executable. And this is a particular programming paradigm that's uh, present uh, in C and C++ and some other languages, uh, not Java, by the way, um, and is called a callback. And you need to uh, take a look at the Wikipedia uh, link that is provided to uh, study that concept before proceeding with the lesson. Another term that you'll see in the computing literature for callback is an upcall. In M, all callbacks, uh, that is the code strips, share a common namespace. So for example, uh, hitting a key can set a value in the namespace that the uh, draw event can pick up and change the way that it draws something. Uh, the variables in the shared namespace can be created and set to a value uh, using a, a glut method called glut colon colon set takes the string name of the variable as the first argument and the value as the second. Uh, and uh, the uh, set methods uh, can only be called uh, once and they can only be called in the initialization code for a command. Uh, there's an included uh, program with lesson 8 uh, .ogl slash derotate3d. Uh, you can execute it and then examine the text file and you'll see that it uses two variables in the namespace, uh, one to control the rotation of the cube and one to control the rotation of the pyramid. The final task for Lesson 8 is to study events.txt, which uh, displays the number of idle calls per second. Uh, it has uh, one variable to keep track of that count, and it has two variables that are used to um, uh, keep track of one, keep track of the passage of time, uh, and uh, the other one to uh, keep track of how many idle calls have been performed.